A second term seemed to come easy for Syracuse Mayor Ben Walsh, but that doesn't mean the next four years will go easily. That's right. In a one on one interview, News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan asks for the status of some of the mayor's key plans. In his victory speech, Mayor Walsh avoided his controversial decision to remove Syracuse's Christopher Columbus statue. In our interview 12 hours later, his mind hadn't changed, but he clarifies that the Circle's monument will still honor Italian-American heritage. There have been those that disagreed with my decision that have been incredibly divisive and have, I think, gone out of their way to sow uh, discord and confusion uh, and misunderstanding about my intent and, and what we're trying to accomplish as a community. And I hope, again, at the right time, uh, they will uh, take a step back, uh, understand that even if they disagree with me, I'm trying to do this in a respectful way. And, uh, and, and I've said from the beginning uh, that everyone has a seat at that table if, if they're willing to come to it. The mayor's plans for the old central tech are full steam ahead. A science, technology, engineering, arts, and math school construction costs are being finalized. There's been a lot of progress that people are not seeing that has uh, nothing to do with the, the physical building. Um, the school district has, uh, has someone on staff that uh, their sole purpose is to develop uh, the curriculum for that school. Walsh knows his most urgent task is curbing violence plaguing Syracuse, which was a common criticism of his opponents who pushed for community policing. I said to uh, you know, both candidates, there's nothing I would like to do more than to have officers walking the beat in specific neighborhoods. But we're so far from our ability to do that based on where we are with staffing. Again, I think we owe it to our constituents to be honest with them and to manage their expectations about what we can and can't do. What he wants to do? Formalize a partnership with who he calls violence interrupters, people with credibility in at-risk neighborhoods. He's proud of his number of incoming police recruits, but knows he also needs to retain veteran officers to stabilize the department. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.